It's the final in Beijing. It's Igor Sviantek versus Ludmila Samsonova. Who is going to be the champion? This is the preview. Let's go through it. And we start off with Igor Sviantek. And this is a tweet I put out earlier saying, Wow, Sviantek played some incredible tennis today versus Coco Goff. It was 6-2, 6-3, 87% first serve points won. Didn't give Coco a look in today. Clinical. Reaches her 20th final of her career in Beijing. Yazda. And she ends Coco Goff's winning streak of 16 matches as well. Iga looks like she is back on top. But she's not number one. But is she fighting for world number one come the end of the year? It's only her who can decide that. And she came out after the match and she did say, it feels like I can play freely again. Uh, it's been a while since I felt that way. I'll remember for the rest of my career that even though tougher times may come in your mind, you can always overcome that. With hard work, you can achieve it. I'm happy I switched my attitude after the US Open. Hopefully, I'll be able to keep it as long as possible. And she definitely looked back to her best. She played absolutely fantastically. Coco Goff didn't really have a chance. I mean, all of the shots for Iga were going deep on the court. So much pace on the ball. And Coco was just sort of chasing her own tail a little bit. I think that Iga, when she plays like that, she, there's nobody who can beat her. And uh, Coco Goff, it seemed like we had gone back to before the Cincinnati matchup. And that's sort of how the matches went. She now extends the, the lead in their head to head to now eight to one. Uh, Coco will have to go back to the drawing board and see how she can get in on that eager serve and how she can maybe tackle her in future matches. But it's all about the numbers for Eager. The third WTA 1000 final of the season, seventh final of the year. There's a nice picture of her there. Big Yazda there from her. And another number here, eight. Eager has equaled Caroline Wozniacki's uh, most WTA 1000 finals reached before the age of 23 since 2009. Eight. Incredible. Absolutely brilliant, that statistic. Eager. There's so many stats that are always coming out about her, and I love reading them. This one, another one, number 50. Eager is the fourth player to secure 50-plus wins in WTA 1000 events in a two-year span. 24 in 2022, 26 in 2023, since the format was introduced in 2009, after Simona Halep, Victoria Azarenka, and Serena Williams. Significant. Next one up for her, it says Iga has played eight different WTA 1000 tournaments in her career. She has reached the semi-finals in all of them 
has reached the final in six of them, has won four of them, and that's at the age of 22. Not bad, eh? Yeah, she is pretty damn good. I think we can all agree on that. And she will be up against, well, a very, very tough competitor. It is Samsonova. She took out Rebakina and extends the lead in the head-to-head -to, -head to four love. Wow. And she beat her 7-6. And what a first set it was. It was back and forth. Rebakina was playing really well. But Samsonova, some of the shots are just unreturnable. She's managing to keep the ball so deep on backhand and forehand sides. And... Rebakina just looked like she just had to give up on certain occasions just because the rallies were quite long and the final shot from Sam Sonova just too good. Um, yeah, she reached her second WTA 1000 final of the year and she faces Iga tomorrow for the title. She, what she had to say about Iga, she said, I'm here to learn. She's achieved so many things already in life. She's so young. I think it's a test for me to see where my level is. And we know that she has a super high level. It just hasn't been that consistent. And if she continues this type of level of tennis, I mean, she is a scary prospect. I mean, you could include her in uh, the big like three conversation, really. If she played that level consistently, she is that good. But we just haven't seen that consistency. This is a fantastic statistic for Samsonova, though. En route to reach in the final, she hit 32 winners against Rabakina. They're the most a player. They're the most a player has hit against Rabakina in a WTA 1000 event this year. Fire! I mean, incredible statistic. That I mean, Samsonova when she's when she's on, she's nearly unplayable. And this final is going to be sort of battle of who gets the winner first, I feel. And another statistic here for Samsonova. Um, she is the third consecutive unseeded finalist at WTA 1000 events since 2019. When Bianca Andreescu in Toronto, Svetlana Kuznetsova in Cincinnati and Alison Risk Amritraj in Wuhan made the respective finals. Yeah, I mean, crazy. I'm... I don't feel that she should be an unseeded player, really, the, how good she is. But as we said just before, it is consistency around the whole entire year. And she hasn't had that level. And this next tweet will probably allude to it. Uh, Samsonova lost to Pagula. It was 6-1-6 love in 49 minutes in the Montreal final after beating Rabakina in the semis. Are we going to have a similar situation tomorrow? Uh, and this one just was a little meme with uh, Asaka saying yes many times, <laughs> which was uh, quite a funny video. I think that there was different circumstances, though, in that Montreal one. It was very stop-start all of the play, and that was the day she had to play two matches in one day. And, well, if you've just been through an absolute three-set thriller with uh, Rebakina, then... Yeah, it's going to be tough to play Pagula straight away afterwards. After, I'll let her off that. I'm not going to read too much into it. But if we look at the head-to-head -head between these two, Eager leads it to Love. And the last time they played was actually that scoreline as well. 6-1, 6, -one, six Love in favour of Eager. Will it be the same? I feel like this is a completely different Samsonova to what was playing earlier on in the year in February. We might get to see more of what happened in that match in Stuttgart on the clay. That was an entertaining one. One of the closest matches Iga had in that long winning run of the 37 matches that she played that year. I hope that we get that one, to be honest. But let's get on to my prediction. And I think that this match is going to be a little bit different to the last match we saw between them. It's not going to be 6-1, six, 6-love. Six, I think it's going to be a little bit closer but I still think Eager's going to get the job done. I think it's going to be a 7-5 and a 7-6. Let me know if you agree with me in the comments section below. I know I didn't have a very good one on the semi-finals. I got both of them wrong. So feel free to disagree with me on this prediction. I want to hear all your thoughts. And if you haven't already, hit a like, subscribe, and we'll see you for more tennis action coming up later.
Hi, I'm Yannick Hanfman. I'm Ilya Marchenko. I'm Dennis Kudla. This is Sebastian Ulfer. It's Mark Andrea Wittler. I am Francisco Serundolo. And, and you're listening, listening to the Game Podcast. podcast. Hopefully you enjoy it. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot to put the overlay on. Look at this. <laughs> How are you doing, tennis fans? There we are behind the desk. It's been a while since we've done one of these watch-alongs, and I am super excited, it has to be said. It's Igor Sviontek, it's Ludmila Samsonova, and this is the right final. There's a lot of people probably thought that there were some better players on tour coming into this tournament. But the way these two have played in China, in Beijing, they're the hardest hitting, the most clinical. And this could be like one of the best finals of the whole entire year. So stay tuned with us. We'll take you through everything. You are right, JG? Yep, I agree completely. I think it is going to be a very good final. It has the ability to go either way very quickly or go the distance. So there's that that fear, of, like that the unknown aspect to it. Yeah. Um, of course, the inform players coming into these wasn't maybe these two. You'd mm. probably have gone with Sabalenka, Coco, Goff as the two inform players, um, yep. but they wasn't able to get all the way to the final, and we're left with Sam Solova, Iga. Like I said, it could be an hour match either way. Or we could be looking at a three-hour one. It's very much, I'm not sure what I'm going to expect here today. Um, and maybe I feel Sam Sonova could be favourite. But I don't know. She's just looking really good. Yeah, she's looking fantastically good. Let's get some predictions in. If you are just joining us, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and the like button. And give us your predictions in the live chat right now. We're going over to the match. Hit the button, Bam. Oh, I'll do it. Oh. Well, you always got to remember when, when we share these things. Oh, oh, no, here we go. What's he doing? That's what I'm saying, Ben. You're what a nightmare. I thought you'd be better at this kind of stuff. Mate, there we go. We're in. I'm getting right. confused with all these new layouts that we've Ooh, got. Oh, we've got there. something moving as well. I know. <laughs> this is what I was trying to incorporate. Well, yeah, there was a cool, few man. teething problems when we start these new uh, new bits on GTL, but hopefully uh, you guys enjoy it. It looks a little bit more technical. We've got the little thing around the scoreboard now. A little, uh, I mean, I'm liking it. it. I think it's awesome. I'm only going to add to this as well. Um, this is just the beginning. Yeah, if you want to get your name on the desk, send us in a super chat uh, to the link pinned in the live chat or just regular super chat and uh, you'll get to the top of the top tippers and that'll get you something on the desk. So you can get your little name on whatever there or logo. Yeah, whatever you want. You can put Yazda on the desk. You can put anything. And we've got Gene in Ooh. saying in three happy 20 months, GTL fam. Well done, Gene, for being one of our longest standing members on the channel. Cheers, mate. Yeah, how are you doing as well? It's been a while since we've done anything live, really. So uh, I guess it would be nice to speak to you guys yeah, in real sure. time. My word, some hard hitting already from Samsonova, but a poor drop shot there. The one good thing about both these players this week is just how accurate they've been with their shots that are near the baseline. And Rabakina was unable to handle Samsonova. Samsonova obviously leads the head-to-head -head against Rabakina now for love, which is crazy. I don't know anybody else with such a good head-to-head -head against Rabakina. All on hard court, I believe, as well, which is even more impressive. And Eager, she's been quick around the court. She's looking like the old Eager now. I say old Eager. I mean the Eager of last year, not the old Eager, because she's not even 23 yet. So it's... And um, what's your prediction for it? I said on the preview, eager in two, but I think it's going to be seven, five, seven, six. Okay. I'm going to go the other way then. I'm going to have Sam Sonova winning um, in straight sets. Wow. I mean, looking at eager's I think she's last... just been so good. Like in the build up to this, I feel Sam Sonova's impressed more than eager. I Is that know. totally biased? I They've both been pretty... I mean, Samsonova's knocked out three Grand Slam champions on her way to 
to get in there. So she's beat Kvitova, Ostapenko, and Rabakina. Exactly. Whereas Iga's beating Goff and Garcia. Yeah, it's just Goff pretty much. I don't really well, rate any of the others. I don't know. Garcia match was very Garcia very was good, good, but yeah, it was a close one. Garcia playing some great tennis right now. Um, know she can. With the with your prediction, you'll be interested to know that the last two WTA 1000 finals, Iga has actually lost. Uh, so she won for her first five in a row, and she's lost her last two. That was. Dubai this year, well, both of the ones this year actually. She hasn't won a WTA 1000. She lost in Dubai and Madrid. I just have a feeling this year is going to sort of peter out the way that she thought it would. Yeah, She's not going to be world number one now. She's already focusing on next year. I feel it's just going to be a bit of a sorry end to the year for Iga. Still the WTA finals though. I mean, even if she wasn't to I think win, it'll be here. the same. I think it'll be the same. I don't think she'll win that either. I feel. It's going to just peter out a little bit. I think Sab is the favourite for that. Sab will be the favourite for the WTA finals, yeah. yeah but sure. the favourite never wins. I mean, Garcia won it last year. I think the year before it was Muguruza. So I wouldn't go off the favourite winning it. I wouldn't be surprised if we see Pagula, Pagula win it. <laughs> or actually, Vondrausova. Yeah. I think that's, that's the shout. I think Vondrausova will win the tour finals. So Based it's... off what we've seen historically in the event. Yeah, it's difficult to pick, isn't it? Oh, that's a brilliant forehand from Samson of a cross court and just in incredible form with a uh, forehand, especially. Yeah, Jean there just clarifying she hasn't won a 1,000 title since Rome 2022. Yeah, of course, he's referring to Iga. We've got Gary. How are we doing, Gary? He's in the live chat yeah, saying, he... hey guys, GTL family. I almost forgot what this was like. However, I'm on my way to the beach, so I'll catch up with everyone soon. This will be huge for Ludmilla. Also, how about that Seb Corder? Yeah, we'll talk about that in a moment wow. as well. Um, Impressive. And enjoy the beach, Gary. Yeah, Have a nice little swim. Down. Watch out for the sharks. Definitely. <laughs> Exciting stuff. Yeah, that crazy, that Seb Corder. Um, he seems Good to have met his number a little bit. Wow, Samsonova starting well on her first service game of the match. I saw Shelton went through earlier as well. Did you see Felix Jill one earlier? Yeah, I did. Jill? Yeah, I have, I have him on one. <laughs> That's why I'm keeping an eye on him. And we've got Alvaro Gimeza playing later as well. I don't know if I have that one on. Sounds like you have that one on. <laughs> <laughs> you have that one on. No, I had I had Gilles uh, or Gil. And you have that guy as well. Who is it? <laughs> I what? Gillian Mazer. There we go. Yeah, I have Gillian Mazer. I have Draxel as well. I don't know if you've got Draxel. Liam. And I've got Mahach. Yep. I Draxel, got him as well. and yep. Mazer. Yep. And Gil. That's yep, that four. No, is that who you've got? Yeah. Or is that who I've got? No, that's my four. Oh, that's what I picked the exact same for. How weird's that? <laughs> Bizarre. Here we go into the net from Sam. Or you're true. just looking in my account to see who I've got. <laughs> of course it is, Ben. Why would I have them for? How random would that be? Well, that's how I watch the tennis. I'm always logged into your stuff. Oh, I would have thought that you would have had some. Uh... I was going to cash it out. No, mate. It's got some good. It's got a good thing to run on there. <laughs> Thought you would have just been on the same wavelength as me for a change. No. Although I did one terrible one earlier. I had Sinner to win in straight sets. That's a good one, isn't it? <laughs> that to failed Ooh. after the first set. Oh, she's missed it. I think. Wow. Did she miss it? Looked yeah. Like that... it. Oh no, she didn't. Oh. Mm. Must have caught That's... the line, but it, was a... it wasn't an encouraging shot. I didn't like the way her oh. technique. You need to be a little bit more solid with the smashes. Oof, yeah, yeah, it, it just was... caught the back edge of the line. It's risky. I mean, that is not good from Sam Oliver. Slightly nervy at the net. She's got advantage, though. She's got away with that one. Good serve. Eager. Oh, yeah, really Hold good it. serve. And Sam Oliver probably got the better serve out of the two of them. Yeah, I would say so. I think that's the one thing that Eager... 
even though saying that against Coco Goff, Iga served and won 87% of her first serve. So she was really, really pushing the ball out wide well. And the one thing that Coco Goff didn't really make her do was stand to one side a little bit to try and force her to serve in the other direction that she was less successful in. And Coco, because mm. she didn't do that, she was always out wide and then always struggling. So maybe Samsona will take note of that semi-final and start, I don't know, getting in Eager's head a bit on the serve because we know her second serve nowhere near as good. And Garcia absolutely et up her second serve. And if you are just joining, please give us a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new. This is the Beijing final. I really like the font. I love the thumb, thumbnail. <laughs> it's a shame we've not done more, really. Uh, I know. This. I don't know what I more. Guess, we'll I guess we'll have it again for Shanghai for the final. It'll be good to cover yeah. that on the men's. And Medvedev is not going to be there. We should probably talk about it briefly. I know yeah. people are asking in the live chat. Gene's quite keen and so is Gary. Uh, Gene's saying Corda is the only one outside of Djokovic and Carlos to defeat Medi in straight sets in 2023. Impressive. Weird player, Sebastian Corda. Bundles of ability. Yeah. Is he going to, oh, do we see it on a regular basis? No. Uh, no. He's had a lot of injuries and different issues, but there's a real player in there. He's a, there's a player in there which you think can compete with the Alcaraz, Sinners, Ben Shelton's. Maybe too early to throw him in there, but I like Corda. He's a very good player. But, like you said, what kind what one you unre you know, like, unreliable. The way I look at it is, to go to the brackets, how confident would you be to sort of have him going for a semi-final run I've at done the moment? It. I've done it at a slam. It doesn't yeah, but, work. I know. It's just, and then it just doesn't turn up. And there's a player in there. You would lose to someone like a, I don't know, just a, a random person in the second or third round that you didn't expect. He has the ability to win this event, the Shanghai event. Ooh. Little tip there. <laughs> What's his odds? Probably can't check I it now if know. this match is going on at the minute. Let's see if Sinner gets through this one. He's down a set to Baez, and that's playing right now. Madozan keeping it going, beating Lajevic. Yeah, Her brilliant. Hercats beat Sue. Rublev beat Quantan Halis. Hatanov's back. He won in three. Yeah. Uh, Evans demolished Kukushkin. Dimitrov yeah. beat Vukic. Uh, Kasper Rude with a big victory against Chris Eubanks. Just solid, Rude, isn't he? He's just so consistent. I thought that that would probably be the case in that match. Like, Eubanks has to serve per like really well, not perfectly, but so well to beat someone like Rude. And Sonego beat TFO, and I called it on my bracket. Yeah, impressive. And you laughed at me. Probably. <laughs> that sounds about right. <laughs> oh, dear. There was a lot of things to laugh at on those brackets, I think, especially me. I think I had Medvedev winning it, so that's probably one of the main ones. Uh, so... <laughs> Sarundalo beat Futsovic. Alcala's surely the favourite now. I don't think it mattered, really, because he was always not going to play him until the final. Yeah, exactly. Manorino so. Rublev in the next round is quite easy. Uh, easy. I was going to say interesting, because Manorino still looking really good. He won that yeah, tournament. Yeah, kept it going, hasn't he? Yeah, not seen this level of consistency from him for a while. Schwartzman doing well as well. I'd love to see Schwartzman back on the winning run. He's beaten Van Asher, beat Lehechka. They're all like three-set matches. Can he beat Fritz? This is his final hurrah, unfortunately, yeah. for Diego, uh, Diego Schwartzman. What about Sissipas as well? He's up against Umber next. Umber I think Umber beats him. That's, that's where we've got... I think we've both got Umber beating him. Yep. Oh, Sean reckons the problem with Corder is he doesn't get fired up enough. Is he's he a little bit, bit soft. Too, a bit too relaxed. Yeah, maybe. And Gary says Seb was about to break through when he hurt the elbow. I wonder constantly what this year would have been like he was money in Australia, should have beaten Novak in Adelaide. So, is it just injuries? Give him some time and he'll come good. Well, that bottom half of the bracket now is like well open. I mean, he could potentially, he's got Sarundalo next, could potentially be a Sinner or a Shelton in the quarterfinal. Yeah. Wow. Good volley in there from Sam Sonova at the net. Really took all the pace off of that one. I'm Eager. surprised she's at fours. Yeah, I'm. I'm really surprised she's at fours. That's the only bet for today on this match. There's nothing else worth taking on. Take on a Samsonova win. Well, if you want to take JG's Samsonova in straight sets, I bet that's crazy odds. Yep. 
if you know what it is, let us know. What about Zhang to beat Nakashima? I think he's a underdog. I think that's worth taking on that one as well. Yeah, he is the underdog. Zhang. Yeah, Zin Zeng Zhang. What odds is he? 2.1. Oh. I know. Quite good odds. Nakashima, Nakashima though, is destroyed strange. Runa, but he's, yeah, he's a difficult one to call. But, but he's looking like he's like in Shanghai. <laughs> yeah, fast <laughs> courts do suit Nakashima for sure. Well, they're not actually fast, I'm hearing. So this year, they've never been so slow. Bedford have said they're like Indian Wells. Well, maybe that's why he didn't go so far then. Mm-hmm. So this whole fast court thing, he said they were a few years ago, but they're just not so fast anymore. I don't know what it's to balls or Ooh, they changed it courts, all. but it's just not as fast. He's never, it's four years gone by since he last won. In that time, it's all gone slow. I mean, Zhang is on a real tear. Yeah, he's really like, who's good. Who's he not? He's the, he was the Asian Games champion. I think being Montenegro in China, in final. Just, he's leveled up in China as well I think that that's just given oh, him an extra that. I don't think so he, in, in uh, the US Open he beat Rude he is a good player at the US Open he beat JJ Wolf and then Rude both good players and then lost to Hijikata <laughs> dodgy <laughs> against Nakashima I don't know it's just tough isn't it Casper Rude's next match I'm looking forward to Marazan I think Marazan is that's the bet. That's, that's the one. a real tough one, but if, why not take on the bet? What's I like out? Marazan a lot. There's no odds out yet. I really like him. I think he's awesome. It's good when he's not. I sick. guess. I guess if it is a slower <laughs> court as well, it'll suit him even more. Yeah. That's why it's suiting Casper Rude though. We well, didn't even know that until I told you. Where would you be without me, Ben? I don't know. Just be sitting here. Given false facts. <laughs> All right, eager using that serve out wide, Gene... but it's punished. Ludmila. Gene saying, JG and Ben, it's not the court that is slower, it's the ball that fluffs up quickly, which makes it heavier and harder to hit through the court. So the balls are rubbish then. I do feel like they shouldn't keep changing the balls all the time. Why is there not just one set tennis ball that they use for every single event? Can we not just get a set tennis ball? I think it's a little bit, it's just a bit excessive. Yeah, I mean, why do there have to be so many different styles of tennis ball? Or have one for each surface. There you go. Then at least you know every time you play on a hard court, you're going to be playing with that tennis ball. Or every time you play on a clay court, it's that... Have some consistency. Got a new uh, bracket came through. Not having to use the black and decker to there. Nice. Yeah. Oh, that's great depth for me, guys. Yeah. Really good hit in 30 15. Yeah, there goes Sean saying, All these years, I thought it was the courts, but it was the balls. <laughs> that's it. We didn't realise that there was so much uh, going on with these tennis balls. I actually watched one of these. It's quite a long video. It's the making of the tennis balls. It's quite interesting, actually. It was on YouTube. I think so, yeah. I don't oh, know how to assess this match so far. I feel it's quite it's, even. It's very even, yeah. Ooh, Samsonova hitting Made better, an error. I'd say. But making more errors as well. Yeah, Iga seems to be getting through our games better than Samsonova, but yet Samsonova looks like the better player. It's so strange. Marginally. Is Iga's serve going to be the thing which sort of keeps her, in, her nose in front? She's serving first serve points one eighty percent already again, which is really good. Is it's that the one? Th is that one thing that she's shored up in her game? The serving. I mean, the second serve is definitely something she needs to have a little bit extra on it it's right down the pipe i mean it's not even that good that second serve she sort of relies on her opponent going for it and missing i think more than but a lot of the time they well hit a winner like garcia was doing 
All right, Gar is off. Okay, Gang, jumping in the car. Be very happy for either girl in this match. Both girls are winning me over with their humility when they play. Have a good one, Ben and JG. Enjoy the beach, Gary. Gary. Jeal jealous. He's going to be down there on the lilo or something, floating around on the ocean. <laughs> Just watch out for the sharks. That's it. It's going to be on a jet ski. Are we up to 100 likes yet? Not yet. Oh, Everyone boy. hit the like button if you haven't already. Subscribe if you're new. This is the Beijing Open Final. The last WTA 1000 event of the year. And Eager has not won one. Will that continue? 3 2 on serve. We've got uh, Gene wishing Gary some good luck there at the beach. <laughs> I'm not sure what he needs the luck for. But, no Schwartzman's uh, 31. Doesn't surprise me. I don't know if he's going to. He's at fives against Fritz. I don't think he's going to play for much longer, Schwartzman. Whoa. Why? He's just coming to the end. He's just on a resurgence right Mate, now. Felix is going to lose again in the doubles this time. He just, can't, he just can't win anything. It's actually quite sad. He's 15 in the world, Felix. I still. mean, that's going to drop at some point very, very soon. Yeah, you can't just keep losing all the time. US Open, first round. I mean, where's, and, and where's Chapo as well? Beijing, I mean, with first round from every out. event. <laughs> Shanghai, first round out. I mean, is Raonic the best Canadian player? <laughs> Probably is. Is Liam Draxel above them? Wimbledon Eager. First oh, round. my word. Yeah, Washington you're always going to win round. those ones. Toronto, first round. I mean, it's terrible. How's Sinner getting on? Lost the first set to Byers, which I was surprised about. I thought that he'd clean up Byers easy. Oh, is that an ace? No, just wide. Is this a sign that Yannick Sinner may be a little fatigued after his win in Beijing? Hmm. Is he start? Are the wheels falling off? Yeah, I think so. I think that is... That's probably the biggest indicator. I don't think it's a case of him just not playing well. It's probably more physically struggling a little bit. Mentally, the demands of playing so many matches. He'll be pleased if he can get through this and have a little run to the semi, semi-final, quarter-final. That'd be good enough for Sinner. Refocus on the, for the ATP finals. I think that's what he's going to really target. I'd like to see him... Ron Djokovic close in the match because he's been, for me, extremely disappointing every time he's played him. The Wimbledon one where he was two sets up against Djokovic was good. But then what happened from there? Like It was a complete collapse, just like Massetti did. So yeah. I want to see Sinner actually run Djokovic close. And it, even considering he was two sets up, I don't feel like he was close in that match at all. It was always done. That's it was one, one of them I prime two, love, two sets up matches where he's not close. There was never a que there was never one moment during Sina Djokovic where you're thinking he's gonna he's gonna lose this match, Djokovic. Two sets up, you had the little thing like saying, hmm, let's see how he starts the third. But then the moment he just like, got broken, broken, terrible, like you like, oh, that's done. It was the same as Laszlo Gier versus Djokovic. Yeah. Exactly. There's been quite a few instances like that. I feel that we were I know we were big in Sinner up in the last countdown episode. Oh, and obviously, point, he beat Medvedev and Alcalaz, who are in good form. But until you defeat Djokovic, <laughs> we, can you even be considered? like? Because we know that he's mentally strong enough now to beat Alcalaz four times. He's beaten Medvedev for the first time now. Can he beat Djokovic? That's yeah, the problem. I, I want to see him go close to, with Djokovic. Even if he loses, it's fine. Just like where you have the, the doubt as, aspect in the match where, oh, actually... Yeah, he, I know what you he mean. He might beat him. Like Holger Luna, when he steps on court with Djokovic, you actually think like, oh, whoa, he's, it means business at the moment. 
Whereas Stianic Sinner, you think like, oh no, he looks like he's no. I just want to get to a stage in the match where Sinner looks like, oh, he actually might beat him, and then if he loses, that's fine. With Djokovic I just want to scrambling. Have that moment. Djokovic having to take medical timeouts. Djokovic having to take toilet break. Djokovic having to get a potion. He doesn't even need a potion against Sinner. No, never. <laughs> Potion's not even needed. Let's get back to this match, though, because it's a really important moment here. Yeah. It was a bad drop shot from Samsonov. I'd set up the juice. Should have gone out of the game. Now we're into the game. It's a great return from Iga. Oh, it's wide. And Samsonov has dragged it wide. It's going to be break point. Here we go. Iga Just... not had to do much there. Samsonov making an error and then a you poor serve and then a good return. And that's what it comes down to, these big matches. A few too many mistakes. She needs a first serve here to save. Is it the first break point of the match? Yeah, it's the first one of the match, and she she tried to mix it up oh, with a drop does. shot as well. Get a first no. serve, close. No. Yeah, she tried. It's going to be a second. This one's going to be attacked, Ben. This is going to be attacked. This first set could be over in a flash. Oh, oh no! Nice. Let double double fault. Oh, there you go. Not. It is the break. Yeah, hit the top of the net and pulled it wide. Double fault on break point. The first of the match. 25 minutes played and Eager now in control of this first set. Not the match, just the first set. Am I in control of the buttons? Just yeah. check. Okay, just checking. There we go. I mean, I can't do them. I just forgot <laughs> I, about them. No, I don't mind doing it. As long as I don't press it and then you're like, oh, press no, well, let's it do this same. one as well. The bakery be opening when the Polish girl be rolling in. Each victim be serving them. Bread sticking up bagel in. I'm eager when I'm on the job. I'm a feature. I'm gonna beat ya. I'm eager. I'm gonna see ya. Now you can handle my heat now. So, Samsonova, the terrible backhand there into the bottom of the net. Really, one of her worst shots of the match. And that may have affected her mentally, that break of serve. Seemed that she gave that away, like you said, rather than eager yep. even winning it. Wow, that's For power sure. from Samsonova there, though. And Samsonova, I believe... Oh God, I can't even remember the statistic now. It was something to do with the like the third unseeded player to be in a WTA 1000 final this year or something. Do you know we've both got Samsonova really high in our prediction start of the year? Oh, do we? Yeah, because I had a look at it the other day and I was, I was fascinated. I think I've got like fifth or something. So it's very um, important for me that she wins this event. I need the points. What does she? Where does she go if she wins this event in the rankings? I'll have a look in a minute. I'm sure there are some very suspect ones from on mine. Yeah. I had a good laugh. <laughs> I'm going to save it for the reaction video. We'll be doing that probably, well, a few December. months' time. <laughs> Got to fill up the December. Got Christmas quiz as well. Q&A. Whoa. You're kicking off in December. Make sure hit the subscribe button. If you've got any ideas for us to do in December of any kind of content, let us know too. And we'll be happy to consider it. I can't promise anything, but we'll consider it. And if you want to get on side the, in the top tip of leaderboard, we've had none for Beijing. So donate and we can add you to the board um, below us and to our right. Yeah, indeed. We, this is the first match we've covered of Beijing. So not going to be too hard on ourselves. Yeah, it is the worst timing possible for us, Beijing. Obviously, with work and all of the matches kick off at about 4 a.m. in the morning and run through to, I don't know, midday. Wow, big winner there from Samsonova. Yeah. I mean, the late ones we could have done probably a few more, but work's been quite challenging for us. And it's month end, isn't it? Yeah, if we're not making enough money on this, we physically can't do it because we've got... got Families to feed. Mouths to feed. Bills to Food pay. On the table. That's it. We're at 100 likes, yeah. 
<laughs> oh, 61 away. Come on, people. Yeah, Gene, we're going to definitely cover some more of the European matches. So Vienna, Basel, Paris, Paris Turin. Sure. Yeah, I think it would be a better time of work as well. So I'm hoping to cover quite a bit more. Because yeah. these matches are always fun to come on and just have a chat. Yeah, what's uh, Paris Masters date? I'm just going to have a look at that one second. So Rolex Paris Masters. Come on, just tell me when the dates are. It's on Google. Usually it just says yeah, the date. That's what... Yeah, that's what I've just typed in. Okay, 30th of October. Right, okay. Great month. And <laughs> again, brilliant. <laughs> Why? <laughs> every ta- every big tournament is right on the last day or the last couple of days of every month. Even Grand Slams. So annoying. If there's one thing I could change in the tennis world, it would be move all of Grand Slams and big events to the middle two weeks of every month. That would be perfect. Do you have any idea on your plans for today yet, or still not sure? <sighs> uh, tennis later. What time? It depends what time this finishes. I mean, we don't know. This could be going on for another God knows how long. Okay, but on your way to tennis, have a little stop off. Where am I stopping? At the. I'm not going to disclose the location. Oh, Got too many fans. <laughs> <laughs> no, not there. I walked past the guy with the West Ham not shirt. There. Stop off. At, um, oh, yeah, that's actually a big problem, though. You say that. You just reminded me. Yeah. There could be a bit of congestion. So hopefully, time it a bit later. More like if we play, it'll be like six, seven. Yeah, that's what I mean. Probably yeah. more likely that then. But yeah, when I. If you want to stop off before for a little snack, let me know. Well, it just depends on trains. They're normally terrible on the overground on a Sunday, but I'll have to look. And I'm not getting the tube there because it's literally you've got to go all the way into central and back out. Oh, again. right, yeah. yeah. yeah so it's just, just see, not... the, see the overground if it's thing because it is on the way. Like it, it will make sense. <laughs> then you get Jubilee all the way, and I've got to carry a bloody massive tennis bag around with me for the duration. Yes, yeah, so it might not be worth it. It's up to you. Don't know. Yeah, I'm not gonna sign up for that one just yet i was going to shout something ma- something magical as well when i was walking past this bloke earlier he was coming from i was going to the shop he was coming from the shop he had this light blue irons top on i was going to shout oh. i think it's i think it's going to be a really good match not going to lie i've just seen the two things you got to remember newcastle on a crazy streak west Ham are playing extremely well they've got the record in europe so that should be awesome um I'm fascinated to see how it plays out. This one, it looks like it's going to go the way of Eager. She's doing what she needs to do right now. Yeah, serving good, well. Good serve from some Sonova. I don't think she's. I don't think she's had to worry too much though. I feel Sam Sonova's given this set away with a double fault on break point. We had one break point and Sam Sonova double faulted. So too many errors from the, Sam Sonova. It's the story the of the match. She gave away the break, head's gone down, and you can see it there. Look, winners to unforced errors. Is that serious in this? Ten winners for Samsonova, 13 unforced errors. Eager, one winner, no unforced errors. Yeah, I mean, that's what this, <laughs> I think that, that, yeah, that, that sounds accurate. It's all on Samsonova's racket. She's been the one who's taken the match to Eager. One. Eager's just <laughs> playing within herself and not, not really doing anything. That's crazy. I've never seen an Eager match with such a crazy statistic. Just one winner. There's another oh. winner from Sam Sonova. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's. I think, the better player. Um, if you can just cut out the errors. she. If, if Sam Sonova cuts out the errors, she wins this match. Weird statement to say. I think she's the better player. I think she she's the better, more dominant player in this the match. The better ball striker, you'd say. No, but I think then... she has... Okay, so the way tennis works, Ben, is there's often a player who's able to dominate and dictate the the, the basically the result. Sam Sonova is that person in this match. She is the player who can determine the result of this match. I don't think Eager at the moment in the current state of play can determine the result. Sam Sonova, if she double plays, <laughs> if she plays consistently and keeps hitting winners or keeps That's hitting the word, about making uh... the errors, then she'll win this match. That's the key word. He hit the nail on the head. Consistency. Lack of it right now is looking like she may get broken here. And 
this will be the first set over. And eager the way she's serving, 79% of first serves won, 71% of second serves won. Her service games look very comfortable. Yeah, that's true. Eager looking to break here to take the set. 30 all. Is first she... serve is... Is it good? Oh, it's into the bottom of the net as well from Samson over there. It is set point. And is this going a little bit the same way that when, well, when they last played in Dubai at the beginning of the year? It was 6-1-6 love to Eager was the win on that day. I remember Just... we did a meme for it. Do you remember? Samson yeah. with the, at the bakery. That was the classic bakery tournament, That's wasn't it? All started. It? Oh, it's a great serve. Eager, great return. Back in play. She resets the rally. Oh, my word. Sam Sonova. It's into the net. Yep. Eager takes the first set. Just like that. 6-2. Eager. In a way, it's probably the best thing to have happened for Sam Sonova to get that set out of the way and start afresh in this next one with a different kind of approach. She can yeah. play uh, this attacking brand of tennis. She just needs to make sure she's not making so many mistakes because the unforced errors have been far too many. Four double faults as well, all at times when you, she didn't need them. And Iga's not played great tennis, just not made a mistake. She's played very much like Djokovic here, Iga. She's just getting a champion. back in the court. She's just letting her beat herself. Yeah, Brilliant play, I think. When you don't need to hit winners, don't bother. Just let them... I mean, it, it's not that satisfying, I guess, when you, you're not hitting winners or not as satisfying. But at the end of the day, she's a tennis player. All you're doing is you're just trying to win this tennis match. Yeah. You're not trying to win it in a flashy way. You don't get extra money or extra points for how many winners you hit. So why does it matter? It's the same way as uh, you could look at it as like boxing as well. You don't get any extra money for knocking someone out unless you put a bet yeah. on it. It's a very Mayweather performance from Eager today. Exactly right. She's got the shoulder. She's using the shoulder to protect the chin. Elusive. I was to see more of an Anthony Joshua performance, but I was hoping to see more of a Lee Wood performance like for last night. <laughs> Knocked out Warrington. Won me my bet. It's a good bet, that. You're betting a lot I, these days. I had, the, I had the liquidator. Well, I was just sat in, so, and I thought, why not do the watch along with the liquidator? I had the new uh, DAZN on, so I was like, why not? I've got the zone. Yeah, I've got, I linked it up with the liquidator, had Liam taking me through it. And then just Is literally, good? Good experience. About, yeah, about 10 seconds before the thing kicked off, I was like, quickly, just put something on. It, it said like, a special offer, Lee Wood to win in round seven to 12. And what happened? He was losing the fight and knocked him out in round seven with probably his first proper punch of the whole fight. I was like, brilliant. It's good that you can pause it, do you not think? Yeah. Yeah, that helped. You can't I'd really do that sink. usually. <laughs> I had to handy. sink him up. <laughs> the problem is, if you pause it, sometimes you're like, you get a bit confused where you are because you can't then wind it forward, I've noticed. Or can yeah, you? But, no, I don't think you can. You have to just reset it so you, you can to pause. You live or, put, or where you are. You can't, there's no in between. Yeah. It can get confusing as well if you leave it on pause and then you unpause it and then you don't realise that the thing started half an hour ago and then... It's horrible when that type of thing happens. Yeah, I think I've had it once before when I didn't realise I was watching something on plus one, like a match or something. Oh, right. <laughs> I didn't realise the match was nearly over. We've got so, Sinner. He's broken Baez in the third set. Leads 2-1. Yeah, it's always going to happen, that. I mean, I take back what I said about Baez at the beginning of the tournament. Yeah. What well, did you even say about buyers? It's still warranted. I said I feel sorry for whoever got buyers in the uh, play roulette. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think he's definitely not <laughs> winning it. <laughs> it's one of those guarantees. Well, I think that's still pretty fair. I don't think he's winning it, but he's going to lose the sinner. But still, very good performance from buyers. I think yeah. the two little Argentines, Schwartzman and Byers, can be quite pleased with themselves. 
I'm sure Messi's yeah, watching on, smiling somewhere. <sighs> definitely. So look at this. So when Eagle wins the first set in a WTA 1000, she's won 57 matches and lost one. She's a front runner. That like is it's, what it's, it's basically writing on the wall now that Eagle wins this match. They Pretty much. Up. But I don't feel, I feel like this one could be number two. Am I, am I crazy in suggesting that Samsonova still can win this match? No, I believe that crazy. she can win it more than probably the other 57. It's, it's more intriguing because we know that she's got a lethal like arsenal of big shots. But look at them. They're going so far long at the moment. She's completely out of sorts today. Is this just because Eager's that quick around the court that she just feels she has to try and hit right on the line each time? Yeah, I don't know. I think rain it in a bit. She's throwing it away. Gene saying, oh, it was you I saw, Ben. Nice. Yeah, Gene made it into the liquid stream last night as well. Oh, was you one on the Game to Love account then? Yeah, yeah, I was on the <laughs> GTR account. Giving us a bit of promo in the liquid streams. Oh, it's a loopy return. Eager goes with a flat forehand. And Samsonova, oh, it's just too much. He's going for too much right now. Steps in, balloons it long. Yeah, she's lost the feel of the forehand, that's for sure. If you are just joining, please hit a like button on the video, subscribe if you're new, and go check out our recent countdown episode. I thought it was quite fun. We are speaking about Yannick Sinner as a contender. We spoke about other players too. We had some latest news. We had a bit of everything on there, rankings update. So go check it out. Yeah, in the next episode, we will be answering some of your questions as well. The new segment of the countdown. So make Yeah, sure we to... actually forgot about that. Though. That's um... <laughs> We forgot about our new segment. I didn't realise there was many questions, so that's probably why I forgot. But you realised there was questions and still forgot. Yeah, I know. It's because... I think it's because we changed. How many questions doing... was there? Because I didn't actually see any. There was one specific one I wanted to do. So that was all that I was going to okay. do. But it, was quite, it was a question. I had a, there was two questions, one for both of us from one person. So I just wanted okay. us to answer that one. And then we could promote it more for the week after. <laughs> so. Well, if you are listening, guys, go check out our last countdown episode. And if you want to ask us any questions, I don't think we've got many on there. Just ask us and we will be answering it on the next countdown. A hundred percent because I've remembered now. I'll make a button for it, and that way we won't forget. We'll get rid of the rankings update. <laughs> no. What? It's <laughs> your favourite one. If there are any other segments people want as well, let us know. Samsonova is playing the hammer and eager, happy to be the nail at the moment. Oh, into the net. The crowd really getting behind Samsonova now. They can see they want a they longer want a match. match. Yeah. What odds is she at now? Now's the time, Ben. It is. I mean, Eager's sort of been rallying for... Uh, look, my mum's ringing me. can always tell she doesn't watch. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Cheers, mum. God, she's 11s. Sam Sullivan. That is crazy. I mean, it's still possible for her to win. If 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 it all starts clicking, the trouble is at the moment it's not really clicking. No, not at all. Doesn't mean it won't, though. No, it's not at all. I mean, <laughs> shots like that. It's not the one, is it? Eager's really been trying after every match in this tournament. To, to try and get people to come and watch the matches as well. Have you seen this? She's been in each of her... Well, it was, a, it was abysmal, Ben. Yeah. The eager Coco Goff match was 30% full. It was terrible. And that's a, listen, eager Coco Goff. It, it doesn't seem to be the fans of the WTA, especially some of these big events. Yeah. Grand Slams as well, I was a bit disappointed. A WTA 1000 event, and you've got two slam well, champions. Same with Grand Slams. I mean, there's just not that many people yeah. tuning in to, well, say tuning in, turning up to sit down and watch these and pay tickets, the ticket price to watch them. I think that might be here. Is a the good... price too high or is the marketing too poor? Because the talent's there. Yeah, maybe the marketing. But 
I think that would be a good thing to do, a poll on or to get to go out and find out from regular tennis fans what would make which matchup would you pay to go and watch on the WTA? It's a good question. And I think I think the players need to take some responsibility because despite them being very good, I would like to see a little bit more personality. And I think yeah. they need to do more. So the player I would want to go and see live, she's not my favourite player, but number one player would be Sam um Sam, Sabalenka. Yeah. I think that was that's exciting. I'd like to watch Sabalenka. Happen. It's exciting to watch. Who would I want to see her pitted up against? It's a good question. Not for the matchup, of course, because I feel like probably Sabalenka would beat the player, player I'd put, but just for the entertainment value, I would quite like to watch Ostapenko Sabalenka. Yeah, that'd be really that's nice. A, that's a good match to watch live. That's probably my number Kostyuk. one. <laughs> I think you need to see. Or Svitolina Savalenka would be a good one. I wouldn't mind watching Azarenka live too. I think she's, I find her quite entertaining. (laughs) Badoza? Sarkari in the semi final. Wow, she's winning big things these days. I don't know. I'm going to have to shoot in five minutes. No worries, man. I'll continue to go through this one. Eager serving. It's been over. Well, it could still unravel pretty quick, one of these matches. Well, it just takes one oh, poor service good. game. Good backhand there from Samsonova. If you were jumping on the 11s, maybe time now. Go on, Samsonova. This is the time. Let's get the break, girl. Come on. <laughs> Let's get it. Yeah, I've noticed as well. I know that we're not the best at our pronunciations on GTL, at least not at the start anyway. But a lot of these people doing professional uh, commentary, I'll wait for him to come back. That one's long. Good serving from Eager again. Yeah, but I've been watching a lot of this stuff on either the Amazon Prime or the Tennis Channel. And their pronunciations are terrible. This is, these are the people bringing you the actual coverage. The amount of times I've heard the word Ribakina in the past week is been few. And the guy even announcing Samsonova to come out is calling her Samsonova as well. So no one's getting any of the women's names right. They must be so frustrated with that constant, like because it's, it's always the same pronunciation yeah. they get. It's and. Is it Eager Swiatik again? Is she gonna? Is people gonna learn her name? She's only won a I few still slams. Find that hard though. Eager's the toughest name for me. Yeah, but it's out there so often. You Swiatek. That's it. Is that right? <laughs> Swan check. No, it's Swiatek, not right. No. Why? Swiatek. 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 Yeah. Swan check. <laughs> <laughs> it's half hard. Swan check. Swan check. <laughs> it reminds John. me of the grab. <laughs> Flashbacks John of Silk. And... Another good hold, though, from Eager. 2 1. Swan check. Swan check. Sviatek. Sviatek. Eager Sviatek. Um, put it back in that. Yeah, but what other names are there? There's just too many names that are, are complicated that people are just getting wrong yeah uh, I don't know I guess there's no one really there to uh, complain anyway so no, but it's not about the people it's more fire <laughs> I know it's the players it's disrespectful but they obviously don't care enough this is the problem the people running the tournaments to even get it right I mean, the umpires normally get it right, though. They're the one people you can normally rely on. They do their homework. Sometimes takes them a couple of matches, though. You see Casper Ruud getting mobbed the other day by all those fans. I didn't see that, no. Yeah, it was was that? <laughs> just when he was on the way to one of his, uh, well, into the stadium or into like where the, they're hosting the event in Shanghai. And then just the amount of people just pushing and trying to get uh, on top of him, just trying to get him to sign stuff. Crazy. 
brilliant. Casper Ruud never been so popular. On top of him was there was there as well, was he? Yeah, she was there. <laughs> she was on top of him. On top of her. <laughs> yep. <laughs> right, I'm gonna have to shoot. No good problem. Match. See you that later. Indeed. There's three sets. <laughs> right. Serving from Sam Sonova. Eager, just happy to play down the middle of the court at the moment. Just waiting for the error. And there it is. It does happen. Jean suggesting Vondrusova or Mukova. Mukova, another person that always gives you a good match. Oh, I better move to the middle of the desk. Oh, there I go. Just have to get used to these new buttons. Sean in saying Sviontek is a hard person to tell people about because they don't know what your name you're trying to say. It does make it more difficult. I mean, Eager is probably one of the easiest names to remember, though. So if you can't remember her surname, at least remember her first name. You can't go wrong with that. But I don't think there's an, a wrong way to say Eager. Sam Sonova misses the first serve down the tee as the ball kids nearly clash. Second serve and Eager looking for three break points. This match could be over. Oh, it's a great backhand into the backhand corner of Sam Sonova. They go backhand into the net there from Sam Sonova and we got three break points for Eager. I mean, Sam Sonova... She's going to be very disappointed with this performance that she's putting on here after playing so well in those past, say, two or three matches. She's looked really good. Jean saying it's almost over. Serves in. Eager returns. Samsonova misses. And it's not only a break, but it's a break to love. That's right, people. Ega, will she get a breadstick? Ega, Ega, Spionte. The bakery be opening when the Polish girl be rolling in. Each victim be serving them. Breadstick in a bagel and I'm Ega, when I'm on the job. I'm a pizza, I'm gonna be a if you're just joining us hit a like on the video subscribe to the channel if you are new and if you really want to help support us then send us in a super chat we'll give you a shout out we'll put you on the top tippers leaderboard and it really does help the channel grow we really appreciate everybody that donates and Samsonova moving her around, a drop shot, but Eager can't get to that. Double bounce. Good play from Samsonova. Is it too little, too late, though? Oh, God, I'm about to sneeze. Apologies. So, love 15. Samsonova maneuvering Eager around the court. And that's the first drop shot that's really worked. The other ones have been going wide or in the net or... So maybe that's a good sign. We got Snail in saying hello, Ben, and all Yazda eager winning three Masters and a Slam. Um, it's not that bad of a year, is it? Three Masters. Did she win three Masters? I think it's to be her first Master of the Year. Which ones are you referring to? She's her third final of the year for WTA 1000. Let me know what you meant so I can clarify. All right, serving here. 15 all. Ego goes into the net with the first serve. Ah, it's all on my shorts. Forehand cross court, Samsonova. Eager just long on her forehand there. And if Samsonova is going to break back, it has to be now.
All right, seven here, 15.30. Good serve. Great return, Samsonova. Eager just allowing her to hit at the moment. Keeps playing it down the middle. Samsonova going from side to side. Eager a bit more consistent, a lot more consistent. It's wide from Samsonova with the backhand. Just the tools are not doing what they uh, say on the tin. Thirty all. Serve him. Serve is in. Oh, into the net there from Samson of a poor return. It wasn't even a great second serve. 40-30. Could be curtains this. 4-1 lead. The worst thing Samsonova could have done was get or lose the first set on a break. Because it's eager leading. And she's serving so much better than Samsonova today. Barely dropping points on her service games. As you can see there, 76%, 73% in total. Great return from Samsonova. Puts eager on the back foot. It's a poor volley and she's just missing easy shots. The ones that should be put away. And it's 4-1, the consolidated break for eager. <laughs> Snail saying Dubai and then Rome and then this, right? No, that is incorrect. Sorry to be the one to break it to you. She lost in Dubai to Barbora Klaichikova. She lost in Madrid to Sabalenka. And this is her third final of the year in WTA 1000, that is. She did. Uh, win the French Open. She did win the Polish Open. She did win Stuttgart. She also won Qatar. And she won San, uh, San Diego back in the last year. So this year she's won Qatar, Stuttgart, French Open, Poland. So two, is that two 500s? Nope, three five. No, yeah, two 500s and a 250 and a slam. So, I still think that's a pretty good year. Not bad. I mean, compare it to last year, I mean, it's very, very difficult. I mean, you look at last year, she won, I mean, every all but one final she won. Only Barbora Klaichikova beat her in a final last year. That was in Ostrava. Other than that, yeah, she won... She won Qatar, Indian Wells, Miami, Stuttgart, Rome, French Open, US Open, and then finally lost. But then I'm on San Diego. Right, serving here pretty much to stay in the match now, Samsonova. Misses the first serve. Second serves in. Backhand. Eager run into her backhand side. Eager looping up. Giving her a mixture of paces, but then into the net with the next shot. And it is 15 love. Samsonova, she just has to hold. I don't see Eager dropping her serve right now. Simply has to hold. Second serve. Backhand cross or down the middle. Samsonova maneuvers her around the court. Samsonova coming to the net. Eager goes down the middle. Good volley finally from Samsonova. Right, so Samsonova with a better volley this time. 
If you're just joining, make sure to hit a like. We're on 45. Let's get up to 50 as soon as possible. Samson of an error on the forehand. Eager looking for her sixth WTA 1000 title. And if she did win one, it means she, or did win this one, she means she would have won one in every one of the last three years. She won Rome in 21. She won uh, another four last year. And then she would just have this one. Some sort of a massive forehand. I mean, it's just, you can't get close to that. Snail saying, I'm pretty confident Eager will be taking back world number one spot after 2024 Australian Open. Yeah, I mean, unless Sabah maybe wins it again or it's difficult. Great serve. Really good serve this time. Finally an ace from Samsonova. And we got Peter Zaremba in the chat. How are you doing, Peter? Saying, yes, Gene was hoping for more of a match, but great to see Eager focused again. I totally agree with that. Hope you are well, Peter. Hope you're enjoying the uh, the new Djokovic T-shirt. Hope you are still listening to the Djokovic 24 song. Hopefully everybody out there is. I certainly am. Just long on the first serve from Iga. Samsonova still in this match. It's not over yet. Serve. It's in. Good return from Samsonova. Good forehand. It's too powerful. And the power's there. Just the accuracy's let her down in this match. And I think that the problem that Samsonov has had in a lot of these rallies is the rallies are lasting too long, if anything. she It seems that when the rally goes over about five or six shots, she misfires. So if she's able to get an unreturnable or a winner out of the, her first couple of shots, I'd say even the first three shots, nah, see, that one's gone into the net, then she's all right. But the longer rallies, she's not looking that great. Yeah, Gene saying, I need to order the T-shirt. Where is the link? Uh, I mean, I can probably ping you a link, mate. Bear with me one sec. Um, last year they closed the door. Nice forehand from no, it's wide, and she just ends up hooking the shot so often. I'll have to go and find it for you, mate. Play with me. There you go. I'll find. I'll, I'll pop the link in the uh, in the live chat for you, mate. There you go. Oh, into the net again from Samsonova. Okay, forty fifteen. Yeah, it is a beautiful T-shirt. I've been wearing my one, and. Oh, it's into the net. Oh, my word. Terrible from Samson over there. And Ego, the big come on as she manages to hold. And she is now one game away from a sixth WTA 1000 title. All right. So, Jean saying thank you. Peter saying, Gene, a T-shirt is great. Cheers, Peter. <laughs> Peter, I trust your word. You should do. It is great. 
been enjoying it. And lots of people are getting one of these t-shirts as well, which is thanks so much. That helps support the channel as well and makes all of my time worthwhile designing the, a lovely t-shirt for Djokovic's win. Hopefully I'll get to design another one for 25. And we can keep the memorabilia running. Yeah, exactly. Peter's saying we've got the uh, series 22, 23, 24. Why wait for 25? Yeah, exactly right. I have as well. I've got them uh, here, 22, 23, and 24. I've got all of them. I love them. Like some of the, the most regular things that I wear are those. I try not to wear them when I'm getting beaten by JG at tennis because I feel like it it loses a bit of the uh loses a bit of the mystique to how having Djokovic on your <laughs> t-shirt if you're getting walloped on a tennis court. So I try to not wear it on the tennis court. I wear it off the tennis court. All right. Oh, my stream seems to be messing up a bit at the minute. Just bear with me, everybody. Oh, it's back again. Okay, good stuff. I've got no sound now. Okay, no, it's back. Okay, right. <laughs> Serving to stay in the match and in the championship. Samsonova hitting hard, eager, recovering. Samsonova smashes it away. 15 love. Yeah, let me know if you want uh, any different styles of merch as well. It doesn't have to just all be T-shirts for the Djokovic 24 stuff. I can get uh, some other stuff if you want, like a mug with the 24 on, or if you want a hat or something like that. I can try and make it so that the design looks cool on something else. I was thinking the other day it might be nice to have like a Djokovic 24 mug. So... Or if you want anything eager related, there's a double fault from Samsonova again, a fifth of the match. She just seems to be throwing them out there constantly. We're up to 48 likes. Let's get two more to get to 50. Don't think we're going to hit the 100 on today's match, but we can try. Good serve from Samsonova. Forehand cross court. Long from Samsonova. More errors off the racket again. Gene saying, I actually like the mug idea. Well, yeah, let me know anyway. Because I, I, we have to pay to list all the things. That's all. So it's just, there's no point in me just going and listing a load of stuff that no one's going to even want. Otherwise, it defeats the whole object of the thing. Just paying to list stuff. So if the people are interested, we will do it. Vincent and I recommend that. Okay, appreciate that. But t-shirts are always a good one. I just I just worry that with t-shirts, I mean, with these ones actually, since I've washed them a few times and they're still just as good. The Karat, oh, the old Karatsev one I had. God, I mean that one's looking very very faded. So a beer mug, yeah. Not sure how that's going to work. Do you mean like a metal tankard? Is it called a tankard? Or do you mean like a glass with just like a printed? Oh, it's into the net from Eager there. And Ludmila Samsonova trying to make Eager serve out for this match. Eager to the towel. Blowing her nose in the towel. It was not your regular towel visit it's first serve into the net serving here second serve oh it's a double fall I mean the crowd groan because it's becoming a bit ridiculous now so many double faults from Samsonova and she could be two points away from losing this match. Just from errors. Is it nerves? Quite possibly. Good serve. Eager gets it back deep on the baseline. And she's into the rally. 
which is worrying from Sam Sonova. And Iga hasn't really gone for anything. That's a great shot from Sam Sonova. Little forehand chop. Can Iga pass her? She can. And it's match point. Match point. Wow. I mean, a very strange choice of shot there from Sam Sonova. She came inside the service box, used a little flat push, didn't go for anything, punished. Serve, brilliant, is in. She goes drop shot, it's terrible, and Iga wins in Beijing and wins her sixth WTA 1000 title. She's even crying. This is how much this is meaning to her. It's been a real tough year. It's not been the same as last year where she's been the dominant force. And she's been saying this week how much it means to her to finally be playing with freedom again and playing freely on that tennis court. You can see she's breaking down in tears now. This is uh, means a hell of a lot to her, this one. She goes to her team to give them all a hug. And bless her. I mean, it's definitely... She's been struggling with something, obviously, there internally. And that result has just culminated in uh, all of that emotion, which... People forget how tough it is for a tennis player playing on the tour all year long. Like, you have media scrutiny all year long. You play well one week, you don't play well another. Everyone jumps on your back. Well, she's just showing that she's not immune to emotions, Iga Sviantek. And she wins yet another title and does it in impressive fashion. 6-2, six, 6-2. Two, six, two. Doesn't get much easier than that, does it? Well, she didn't get more. Well, she didn't get to the bakery today, but close enough. Right, so that is that matchup over. Eager wins in Beijing. Well done to her and her team. If you want to catch us on GTL, make sure to hit a like and subscribe. And join us for, there's going to be lots of uh, action coming up over the next week, I would say. But we're going to have to work out how we stagger it. Because obviously Shanghai, that one isn't going to be finishing this weekend. It's probably going to be finishing at some point during the next week. So stay tuned with the channel. The countdown will be once Shanghai finishes because we want to see how the points affect people moving around for the ATP finals. So we'll put I'll, I'll put out some stuff on the channel just to uh, say when we will be doing it. But there will be other stuff coming up during the Shanghai tournament anyway. So we will be covering some matches on that the deeper the tournament goes. And we will be doing the countdown once it has finished. But a big thank you to everybody who joined for this one. Great to see everybody back in the live chat again. Eager's back in the winning column again. And uh, normal service resumes on GTL. But for now, have a great rest of your day. Over and out. Mm -hmm.